Hey guys, so lately I've been struggling with a lot of avoidant feelings and overeating. So the past couple days I've really sort of done like a veggie fast and just eaten minimally. And when I don't eat right before bed, I have a hard time sleeping. And I often have this kind of a lot of like space in between dreaming and sleeping that I remember. And last night I had a really cool vision and I wanted I contemplated through it all this morning and had an amazing time doing it. And I just wanted to, to show you because I'm such a visual learner and things click for me so much better than in language sometimes. Um, and so this is what I saw and you might see an X. This wasn't part of what I saw at all. What I saw was this non-existent point of light and there, the focus was here. And I saw how the light emanated into angles out of it. And it, so it was the sort of like hourglass shape. And so I thought of the hourglass and the, the symbol of that. And I tried to figure out, I was disappointed at first when I was, I was waking and it had left such an impression on me. There was such a feeling that came with the vision itself that waking up was like, our glass of light. What does this mean? What does this have to do with anything? And so it came to me that time, it is a representation of time, um, that we, everything happens here in this non-existent present. And yet it's inseparable from this light, these these memories, these visions, these dreams of visions for the future of what uh, we imagine that it's inseparable of past and future and yet it all happens right now. Um, and so the, what it has to do with angles came to me too and how we alignment and how alignment works. <laughs> so when we don't realize that we're here in the center, that we're this non-existent sort of non-centered center, we uh, we identify with something in the past, you could say, with past things that we have been taught about us, past beliefs, that past th thoughts that make us us. And so when we identify, when we think we're here and a desire comes up um, and this desire will come up in the form of suffering if we're here and we think the desire is here. So there's no alignment from here. You can't get there from here. If you are truly this and you think you are this, you can't get there from here. That's something Abraham Hicks says. And this is kind of a good visual to show you that. And so what is this? This is a space of presence, alignment, and no mind. Now, does this mean that no mind is always no thinking? No, because we can have aligned thoughts and we can have aligned insights come from here. Um, and so the shape of the triangle is pretty esoteric. <laughs> and so this morning I asked, my husband got up and I asked him, I'm like, do you want to hear the esoteric meaning of this shape? And he is like, no, it's too early in the morning. And so he ate his breakfast and then he came back and he said, he like came up with all this stuff for X, for the letter X. And I'm like, X? I didn't see an X there. But in part of the, the dream or the vision was relating this to the cross and like the point where everything crosses and how there's no point itself. Um, and so he said X marks the spot on a map, but we also use X to cross out or negate something. <laughs> How appropriate is that? How funny is that? We also use X as a variable in algebra. So I thought that was funny. And I looked up, so these are degrees, right? This is geometry. And I, a couple days ago, I was looking up the, uh, the Mason symbol and how they have the square and the compass. Um, and it's uh, the angles and the God is the architect of the universe and the G in the center stands for both God and geometry. And you get into sacred geometry and you can get into all kinds of esoteric things here. And so I told my husband, I'm like, 
I, for some reason, I really feel like, because we were talking about the, and joking about the ex, because he saw this and I didn't see it at all. And I was like, I really feel like the word esoteric should have an X in it. And for some reason, I didn't understand that the opposite of esoteric is exoteric. And so no duality, the, <laughs> it's kind of funny thinking of, of the Masons and how they have the sacred geometry and there is this sort of esoteric knowledge. And when you truly become aligned, uh, kind of insights and things filter in, um, and yet there's no one to own them. They're, they're timeless itself. These insights are timeless themselves. And so, you know, the mysteries of the pyramids, the mysteries of geometry and everything are everybody's. <laughs> They're as commonplace as they are secret. So um, looking up words and word roots and different definitions and considering how we use the same word to describe um, things in different ways and seeing how they kind of come together really interests me. And so I looked up degree. And so a degree can mean <laughs> like a, a degree or a level, a step, a stair, um, a position of hierarchy, a stage of progress, a manner or a state of things. And so degree is like where we get with the, these angles. In truth, there is no, there are no levels. <laughs> and yet we have these angles, we have these degrees, the geometric degrees. So this kind of shows you in an image how that can be the case at the same time, that there are degrees, that there can be levels of awakening or levels of enlightenment, and yet there's not. Um, and so the other word I was contemplating with this is point, because like I showed you marking the X's and showing alignment, how you, you have to come through the spot, you have to go back to whatever word you want to describe this, this nothingness, this point that is not a point um, in order to align yourself. And this is why meditation and, and, and no mind, when we are unaligned, go, go into the body and meditate. That is the way. That is the way. That's why meditation is the way. And so point we use as, as a noun, like this is the point. This is what's your point. This is the point of, of whatever <laughs> or we we use it as an action to point to something so this creates this it creates the action of pointing in the degree itself so that's all for today I hope you found it interesting and I just wanted to share those insights with you and keep in mind that this is really cool really fun to think about um, but it's the embodiment that it's all, it's all to like get in your, in your mind and the mind, like I say, it is, it is aligned with being itself. It seems like we, we get off on a tangent, <laughs> um, and we do, but the mind is aligned with being and it's about aligning the mind and that's why teachings like this and and thinking about things and contemplating, contemplating them is not a waste of time unless it becomes a distraction from being. And you know that by feeling, you know by feeling when you're not in alignment. So I love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.